So the other day, a black man was lynched. A black man was gunned down. His name was Marcus David Peters. He was a 24-year-old high school biology teacher in Richmond, Virginia. His crime, being black. He was outside, he was running around naked. Why was he running around naked? I have no idea, but I understand that we live in a country where a lot of people have undiagnosed mental health issues, and he was probably suffering from a mental health, a mental breakdown, something, who knows. But the cop who came on the scene felt the best way to deal with this dude was to shoot and kill him as if he needed to tame him, as if he was a wild animal. In case you didn't know, I'm a black dude too. One of the biggest fears I have in America is being gunned down for no apparent reason. You see it all the time. You're bombarded with the news daily. And it hasn't just been happening now, it's just now we have video evidence about it. One of the biggest misconceptions is if me, as a black man or my, my black sisters, if we go get a degree, we go to a different neighborhood, if we pull up our pants, if we move up the tax bracket, then we can escape that oppression. It's not going to happen. It's not possible. You know, I can give you hundreds of examples, but let's just look at the black Milwaukee Bucks player, Sterling Brown, who was body slammed and tased because he parked in the wrong parking spot. So this dude, Marcus David Peters, was minding his business. He was trying to change society for the better because only 2% of all teachers are black males. And he couldn't escape the stigma of being black in this country. Something that's beautiful being black, but something that's looked at as ugly in America. I don't have a solution, y'all. I don't know what to do, but if we don't keep talking about it, nothing's gonna change.